I'm trying to create a world in which people interact very differently with the ocean, in which people understand that taking less out of the sea actually gives everybody a huge amount more. There is no asset class in the world that recovers as quickly as fisheries can if we just give them time, and we know this, but we're stuck on the how we get there. The decline of fish stocks worldwide is a critical problem for livelihoods and for food security. About 97% of the world's fishers live in the developing world. These fish stocks are collapsing because of over-exploitation and with climate change these problems are only becoming much more severe. I recognised increasingly that conservation wasn't just about me, a biologist, counting species. Conservation needed new tools, it needed entrepreneurship, it needed social marketing, it needed new ways to engage people. I decided to hang up my diving fins and really try to develop business-based solutions to the problems I was seeing. So I was a reluctant social entrepreneur. <laughs> Our work as an organisation addresses the pressing problem by working with people that depend on the sea more than anyone else on the planet, some of the poorest coastal communities in Africa, and listening to them and understanding what the barriers are that they face when we talk about conservation. We've come up with approaches, we've come up with new models, new ways of designing marine protected areas whose goal isn't necessarily conserving biodiversity, but recovering fisheries. In 2004, Blue Ventures encouraged residents in coastal Madagascar to try cordoning off a small section of their octopus fishing area for a designated period of time. When the area reopened, the community was surprised to discover what had happened. By targeting the fisheries that are important to people first, using this closure model, here in Madagascar, the octopus recover with a monthly internal rate of return of 92%, doubling your money in a month. So we use these very fast reproducing species that are important for local markets to demonstrate to communities recovering fisheries can be the best investment opportunity out there. <laughs> We employ community members that we train to collect fisheries data on the catches that they're bringing out the water from one day to the next. We use a number of approaches including data books on beaches and mobile phones and all kinds of apps that we're developing to streamline the process to improve its efficiency and we can track the effectiveness of those protected areas. <laughs> Most excitingly, as a conservationist, what we've seen is that this approach catalyzes interest at a local level in conservation writ large, in creating marine parks, permanent marine reserves within which all forms of fishing are prohibited to enable other stocks to recover. <laughs> Blue Ventures now works with communities to create mangrove, coral and seagrass reserves on thousands of square miles of ocean. Along with training workshops and community exchanges, fisheries authorities in Madagascar, Mauritius, and Tanzania have adopted the model, with others in progress. Blue Ventures has also integrated family planning and maternal and child health into its work, impacting tens of thousands of coastal residents. We need a whole new approach to the way that we get people talking about conservation. 
by demonstrating in a very visible, immediate and tangible way that conservation reaps dividends and gets people behind the movement. And that's what we can do.